Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the Bold N1. Now you can pick this up on Amazon. I'll throw the link up in the description. The price on this one, 250 bucks. I repeat, 250 bucks. Now on a side note, Bold is a subdivision of Blue. And this is their first standalone phone. And what they're trying to do is make a more premium budget phone. And at 250 bucks, as Bob Barker would say, the price is right. All right, so let's go through all of the specs right from the back of the box. You got a 6.4 inch full HD plus AMOLED all screen display. Now that's 1080 by 2340 for the resolution. You got Corning Gorilla Glass 5. For the processor, you got the MediaTek Helio P70. That's our octa-core clocked in at 2.1 gigahertz with 64-bit AI technology. Now you're getting 128 gigs of internal memory and four gigs of RAM. For the cameras, on the rear, you got a dual setup. So that's 16 megapixels with a five megapixel depth sensor. You also got super pixel with 96 megapixel super zoom. And on the front, you got a 13 megapixel pop-up selfie camera. You heard that right pop-up selfie camera, no notch, all display. Now you got an in-screen fingerprint sensor. You got a micro SD card slot for expandable memory up to 128 gigs. For the battery, you got a 3,500 milliamp battery that features 18 watt quick charge. And it also features wireless charge. I repeat, 18 watt quick charge and wireless charging on the phone that's 250 bucks. Now you're getting 4G LTE high data, uh, high speed data. It's running Android 9 Pi, or as we call it, VIP. And you got your premium metal and glass design. Now this is a GSM only phone. All right, so it's gonna work on all the GSM networks. If you got Sprint over Verizon, you asked out. All right, let me grab a little unboxing knife and let's see what this is. But first things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. White shoes, white calm shoes. down. All right, so today we got the Agent Orange. Here we go. Now, on a side note, this is a nice little presentation. Nice white box, giggity, rah. One more, rah. Okay, bold and one. Okay, so here's, gonna, here's your device. Okay, all your pertinent information. Got your SIM ejection tool. Now these are gonna be your headphones. I shoes, scoot, scoot. All right, so you got some headphones. Let's check the quality on these. Standard, your aluminum trim, I like that. Let's see, do you have a uh, play and pause button? Right, that's all you need on the headphones. Shoes, handle lows. This is gonna be your USB Type-C charging cable. Now I love these blue charging cables. That kind of metal, metallic look to it. Tangle free, I like it. 18 watt fast charging brick included in the box. Got your blue troll stickers. Usual books and shit, pluck them and file them. Two packs of poison for the trolls. Throw them in my back pocket real quick. Let's see what else you get. Now you get a case. Gel skin case. Nothing too fancy on this, but it's gonna give you all that protection that you need fresh out of the box. And you also get the tempered glass screen protector. See, this is not the flimsy plastic ones. Tempered glass screen protector with your microfiber cleaning cloth. All right, so all of this for 250 bucks. I like it. Okay, got a little plastic struggles right here. Here we go. Okay, let's get this off the front. One on the back. Check this out. Now this is the black version. Y'all yeah, know I gotta do the smell test on this one. Mm! Smells like darkness. All right, this is that black black. On the back, there's your dual camera setup. One side, let's see, you got your power button and volume up and down. Let's see if we got any juice. Okay, there it is. Other side, there's your SIM tray. On the top, there's your pop-up selfie camera. Got a mic. On the bottom, speaker grill, USB, uh, USB Type-C charging port, another mic, and a headphone jack. Ladies and gentlemen, headphone jack. Samsung, Apple, you see what that is? Headphone jack. Let's keep them alive. Now check this out. Look how fast that boot up was. 
right to the home screen. Now, one of the things I like about blue phones and uh, now with bold, their subdivision, this is all of the apps that come pre-installed. That's it. No bloatware. This is all of the apps that's on this phone right now. That's it. Now, real quick, let's check that pop-up selfie camera. Wait for it. Okay, got the little sound. Hit it one more time. There it is. <laughs> All right, pop up selfie camera on deck. All right, so I'm gonna pause the video. I'll drop my information in, then we'll breeze through the OS. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now, I just put my information in the phone, got everything all set up, and I'm going to be honest with y'all, for 250 bucks, this is a win. Now, look, I said this before, I'm going to say it again, and I'm going to keep saying it. In 2019, there's no excuse for you, your kids, or your parents to have a modern smartphone. Now, you ain't got to spend a thousand bucks on an iPhone or a Galaxy Note. You could get something like this. This is a quality budget phone. First things first build quality now i gotta say it of course feels so good in the hands ladies you know the procedures now think about how far we've come in the phone game if you remember about five to eight years ago for 250 bucks you would have got some cheap plastic garbage that looked old school look at this phone right here this looks totally modern you got metal and glass with gorilla glass at that and wireless charging that actually works wireless charging on a $250 phone. That's pretty sick, and I love that little animation. Now, there's a couple of different ways you can open up the phone. You can swipe up, put in your pattern or your pin, and you also have your on-screen fingerprint sensor, which works pretty good. I would say it works 10 out of 10 times, as long as you do it right. No issues. Now, unfortunately, there's no face unlock on this one, but for 250 bucks, this is a budget phone, so we're gonna review it accordingly. Now we're not gonna nitpick about all of the all the little gripes that I would usually have on a one thousand dollar phone, because like I said, you're spending one fourth the price. No bloatware on this one. Nice and smooth so far. Let's take a look at this display. Edge to edge display. All right, no teardrop notch, no George Jefferson hairline. One hundred percent display. And it's an AMOLED panel. I got it on max brightness. You're not gonna have no problems viewing this in the sunlight. Let's go through the basic toggles real quick. Okay, so you got your flashlight, uh, you got a calculator, you got your super screenshot. So this way, if you take a screenshot, you can keep scrolling. You got screen record. All right, that's a nice touch right there. Let's see anything else. Got your hotspot, you got data saver, you got a night light. Pretty much all of the basics. Let's go over the settings. Now, if you hit the about device, this will give you a quick tutorial so you learn how to use the fingerprint sensor, learn how to use portrait mode, learn what the 96 megapixel super, uh, super, super zoom camera is all about, learn about AI technology, which is basically just scene selection. So you let the computer pick the best scene when you're going to take a picture. You got new navigation mode. So this way, if you don't like these old school Android buttons, you can use swipe gestures. And it shows you how to use the pop-up selfie camera. Let's go to mobile networks, nothing to see here. Now, one more thing that this phone doesn't have, I'll show you right now. Let's go to more network settings. No NFC. I right, no NFC, but you do have your VPNs and your private DNS. No NFC. Let's go to display. Like I said, this is max brightness. You got adaptive brightness. You got your screen color modes. Now I got it on standard, but you can put it on vivid. You have it nice and cool, or you can customize it, change the RGB yourself. I'll leave it ice cold. Let's see anything else we need to take a look at here. Nope, that's it. But you do got screencast and printing. Navigation bar. Now, if you don't like having your back button on the left, you can switch it over, over to the right. Or you can also use full screen gestures. Play with that for yourself. Let's go to sound. Okay, let's hear the speaker real quick. Okay, now this is loud. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> that caught me off guard. Uh, it's a loudspeaker right there. Oh, that's definitely loud. All right, I'll play some music in a second. We'll see. Uh, let's see. Sound enhancement. All right, so you got your loudness. More bass for that speaker. 
pop-up camera sound. Let's see what we got. Oh, sci-fi, I like that. Okay. So for me, it's between machine and sci-fi. Now I think I'm gonna go with machine, come through like the Terminator. Hold up, let me do that one more time. Listen, listen closely. That's hard. All right, so that's cool. With that, let's see anything else. Let's go to our, uh, no need to go to apps and notification. Intelligent assistant. Let's see what we got on deck. All right, flip to silent. We'll leave that on. So this way, if you're getting a phone call, just flip your phone over. It'll automatically silent it. Uh, silent. It'll like, mute it. You got three finger screenshots. All right, so you just swipe down, take your screenshot. Uh, sensor calibration, jump the camera. I hit the power button twice. That's your world star button. So let's try that real quick. Say you're outside and it starts going down. Double tap. Bring out your camera. Catch all of the drama. Okay, so that's pretty good. And let's see anything else. I right, lift to wake. All right, that's your ambient notifications. So you lift the phone. It'll automatically awake the screen. Let's go to uh, system and security. Okay, so you got screen lock. Screen lock preferences, blah, blah, blah. You do have smart lock. So now, with Smart Lock, since there is no face unlock, you can use Trusted Face. Uh, let's see, does it have Trusted Face? Nope. Okay, so you got on-body detection, Trusted Places, Trusted Devices, Voice Mask. So there's no, no face unlock and no Trusted Face in the Smart Lock. It is what it is. Let's see anything else. System, blah, blah, blah. Storage, 10% use, 115 gigs. All right, so if you're buying this phone for the kids, they have expandable memory if they need it, but 128 gigs, that's a thousands and thousands of pictures. All right, so they could go crazy with this one. All right, so Sebastian, if you get this phone, you could take a thousand and one pictures, do your thing. All right, so now let's check the web browsing speed. Let's hit up Amazon. And there it is. Full website, all of the pictures. Nice scrolling speeds. Let's check split screen multitasking. Let's open up YouTube at the same time. Let's see what we got on deck. A little Mortal Kombat. So Mortal Kombat on the bottom, Amazon on the top. Real nice. Now let's check the display and listen to the speaker. All right, so I got my Sony video queued up. Take a look at this beautiful display and listen to the speaker. Full screen. No problems with the viewing angles. One bottom firing speaker. But it looks great. This is how you want to watch your videos. No notch, no interference on the display, just 100% screen. All right, so now let's take a look at the camera. Here's your lift to awake. Watch when I lift the phone up automatically awakes the display. I can see the time, the date, all my notifications. Now there's a couple of different ways you could get to the camera. You can swipe up from the lock screen. That'll open up your camera. If you want to, you can just use your fingerprint sensor, open up the camera app, or you can use the World Saw Hip Hop button. Press the power button twice. That'll bring up your camera, just like that. All right, so let's go through all of the different shooting modes. You got night mode. HDR, you got video, let's take it over to settings real quick. For the video, let's see, video quality, you got fine, high, medium, and low. So we'll leave it on fine. You got photos, you got your 96 megapixel super zoom. You got beauty mode, all right, so if you're an old school cat like me and you wanna look younger, you can have auto beauty, or you can make your skin smoother, slimmer, do your thing. And you got pro mode. Change the ISO, change the white balance, play with all the professional settings. All right, so now let me show y'all some pictures that I took.
Alright, so one more thing I wanted to mention. If you weren't about breaking the pop-up selfie camera, if you drop it while it's open, it does feature fall detection. And let me show you how that works. So you see the camera's open? If you drop it, it automatically recesses the camera. Alright, so overall, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm giving the Bold N1 a definite win. At 250 bucks, the price is right. Now look, you're not getting the Galaxy Note speeds, you're not getting the Galaxy Note camera, and you're not getting the Galaxy Note bells and whistles, but you're also not getting the Galaxy Note price. This phone is all about having a quality phone at a budget price, and 250 bucks, that's budget AF. Now look, this phone is gonna be perfect for your secondary phone. Say you already got an iPhone 10, and you're looking for a secondary phone, this is a good look right here. This will be perfect for your backup phone, your work phone, your trap phone, your filthy scumbag activity phone. Perfect phone for the kids. Perfect phone for the old folks who still walking around with flip phones. Upgrade their lifestyles. This is a great budget phone. You're getting a solid build quality. You got a beautiful AMOLED display with Gorilla Glass 5 protection. You got a great battery with fast charge, 18 watts, and 10 watt wireless charging. You got 128 gigs of storage, four gigs of RAM, and a micro SD card slot for expandable memory. And on top of that, you're getting a headphone jack. Not to mention, this is one-stop shopping. All right, so if you're buying this phone as a gift for somebody, you don't gotta buy nothing else. Comes with the case, comes with the headphones, comes with the screen protector, one-stop shopping. Anyway, bold and one. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Voxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time. 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know. Stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad, I'll see y'all in the comment section early, hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing, I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes. And picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Enterprise, Spock here. Spock one to beam up. Enterprise out. Energize. <laughs>